Thumbnail, thumbnail guys, gotta get the thumbnail. Yo, 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 what is up everybody? Welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. And that was probably the weirdest intro I've ever done in my life. Um, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan. If you don't recognize me by now, um, that's probably okay because I'm not that popular. Um, today's video, guys, is a pretty insane video. It's pretty crazy. I, I'm going to be doing a live reaction. I've been doing these pretty recently a lot and people love them. So if you haven't heard, Uber and Lyft have stopped accepting new drivers in New York City. So that's pretty insane. I'm going to talk about all of that and everything that comes with it. And I'm going to be um, sharing exactly all of my thoughts on it. And I want you guys to weigh in below in the comment section too. So give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below. What do you guys think about this? And yeah, so before I get into the video, if you're interested in signing up to be a Lyft or an Uber driver, if, it, if you've been thinking about it, if you're on the fence, um, use the link in the description below because you're going to get a sign-on bonus if you use my link. Um, yeah, so use that link in the description, enter in your information, and they'll sign you up really quickly. I mean, driving for Uber and Lyft is fun, and you can make some great money. And, you know, if you're not in New York City, then you can sign up. But if you are in New York City, sorry. Um, yeah, you will not be able to sign up. So sign up before Uber and Lyft cuts off signups in your city. All right, so today's video, guys, Uber and Lyft stopped accepting new drivers in New York City. The move comes after a new wage floor uh, for drivers. So yeah, um, as you can, if you guys don't know, New York operates on a totally, totally different wavelength than any other city in the, in the United States in terms of rideshare. So if you didn't know, if you are driving Uber and Lyft in New York City, you actually do need a commercial license, a taxi license, you're, you can't just sign up and start driving like, you know, like you can in Los Angeles or San Francisco or Nebraska or wherever, <laughs> or in Canada. Um, you know, you actually do need to get a commercial license, which does cost around, I think it's around a thousand dollars or so. Um, but you, you don't need the license if you rent a car, but if you want to use your own car, you're going to have to get that license and yeah, that's going to cost like a thousand bucks or so. Um, and that's because New York city, if you, I don't know if you guys have ever been in New York city, I love New York. I wouldn't mind living there for like maybe, maybe having like a, you know, a summer home there or, um, you know, going there every, every few months just for like a week or so. I don't think I could ever live there. But I really like it. Manhattan is the place to be. It's so fun. I um, used to do videography and a company flew me out and I filmed a yacht party. <laughs> yeah, it was, it, was, it was fun. And we went under the Man Manhattan Bridge and um, it was super fun. I'll just show you a clip really quickly. All right, so this is the company I filmed for. Shout out to Deep Root Records. Wow, 2016, that was almost three years ago now. This was the yacht party. I literally flew out. I don't want to play the music so I don't get copyright. Yeah, see, there's my name. <laughs> that was kind of unrelated. I don't even know if I'm gonna include that in the video. So as you can see here, guys, Uber and Lyft stopped um, hiring drivers in New York City. So um, due to a newly passed law. So I don't, yeah, it's aimed to tamp down on an already saturated red share market. So yeah, what I was saying is that New York City, they have laws that protect taxi drivers because there are so many taxi drivers in New York City. What I was saying is that when I was in there, it, when I was in Manhattan, um, that's where I was staying, it, it uh, you know, in downtown New York, like, I guess they call it New York, New York, but you, you don't take Ubers as much. You, there's still that whole culture where, you know, you're standing on the side of the road and there's taxis and you wave down a taxi and he'll, he'll come. And um, that model works really well. And actually it's quicker than Uber and Lyft. It, it is a little bit more pricey, but like, you know, you just walk outside and then there's a taxi that's gonna pick you up. Um, so because there's so many taxi drivers there, New York City just has laws that protect them. So they don't wanna hire any new rideshare um, drivers. 
So as you can see here, Uber actually stopped accepting new driver applications on April 1st. Um, and then Lyft started on April 19th. So the decision comes after the city put in place a new wage floor for rideshare drivers, strongly opposed by both companies. Yeah. So Uber and Lyft does not want to do this. Uber and Lyft wants to still hire more drivers, but this is actually New York City telling them that they cannot. That's pretty crazy. Um, so yeah, Uber and Lyft still want to grow. They, you know, they they want to take over the the right the market in New York City and beat out taxi drivers, but they just can't. Taxi drivers are, you know, they they, you know, it's it's called this, guys. The TLC, the Taxi and Limousine Commission. It's a governing body that regulates rideshare and tax and taxi industry just in New York City. So TLC is just in New York City. As a result of the two yeah. Rideshare companies in New York City are now penalized for running more cars on the street than the existing demand. So basically what that says is that Uber and Lyft get fees. They get charged if they beat out the, the taxi industry, which is pretty insane. Um yeah, and like they said, the rules now require that Uber and Lyft drivers earn at least 70, 17 point two two an hour after expenses. So that's around $27 an hour. Um, I don't know if any of you guys do drive in New York, let me know if that did get, if you are earning that $27 an hour. Um, the wage rules come after several months after New York City passed a law that capped the number of new vehicles. Yeah. So, um, oh yeah, like it says right here, guys, the hiring freeze won't be permanent in New York City. Um, they're going to start to, given that 11% of new Uber drivers quit in a month, exactly. So basically, Uber and Lyft, they can't hire any more. Like, they can't increase their, their share in the market, but they can hire new drivers as soon as other drivers quit. But then it will be interesting to see if, you know, if those drivers quit or log off the app. Uber and Lyft probably won't let them log on again. Like, they're going to have to remain active because... They, to, in order to prevent them from, you know, then signing back up again and working again and taking over the market so they don't get penalized. But that's pretty crazy. I just wanted to update you all with this news because the Rideshare Hub, you know, we cover everything, all aspects of Rideshare. And I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I actually start, I actually thought that um, I'm going to start uploading less because I want to focus on making better videos. But I actually do like reporting on like little quick videos like this. So let me know what you guys think. Do you want less videos and higher quality or just more videos of just my thoughts and just sharing updates? Let me know, please. It really does help. Um, and yeah, I mean, this merch is pretty interesting. <laughs> interesting. No, I love this merch. People make fun of me because I wear the merch all the time and I have like 15 different designs. And when I go out to the bars, when I go to class, I'm just hanging around the house. What else? Even when I sleep, guys. Girls are making fun of me when I, when they sleep over. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't don't watch this, mom. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, that's um, that's about it for today's video. Again, let me know your thoughts. Um, do you guys think this is gonna happen in other places too, or just New York City because of the TLC? Um, like I said, New York City is pretty. Uh, you know specific if you guys are driving in New York City check out this guy his name is he's another youtuber I'm just gonna shout him out uh, I did actually speak on the phone with him before because he was before I started he was one of the original uh, youtubers that I watched when I first started driving ride share his name's uber life New York City um, go check him out he he drives in, in New York City and he talks about everything New York City driving. Like I said, it's a completely different market. If you think about driving in New York City, you know, you got to be careful because there are laws and stuff. Um, and, you know, if you're going to wait until Uber and Lyft does open up their applications again or like unfreeze, then definitely do your research. But otherwise, if you're just driving in another town, this, you'll, you'll be fine for now. Um, but yeah, that's, that's about it, guys. So you guys are great. You know, remember, this is the number one channel on on YouTube for Uber and Lyft drivers, hands down. Nobody else has, has as good as merch as us. Nobody else has 
as many drivers on our on the channel as we do you know we have chris we got jacob we got natalia who else we got so many people we got josie kevin allison liz we got a whole crew guys um i'm probably missing a bunch of people but we got like 10 15 people helping out with this channel so this is a big community and we got a super awesome facebook group too which shout out to you guys on the facebook group always chiming in um, and then in the comment sections you guys are amazing in the comment section, always leaving your insight, always leaving your input, and let me know if you have any, you know, questions, maybe I'll make a video about it. Uh, if you want to, if you want me to talk about something, you know, I will. So again, let me know, do you want me to start posting less in higher quality videos or more times, like, you know, once a day or twice a day and just, you know, as, as big updates happen in the app or in, in Rideshare. To me for me to cover that or do you want me to kind of do a middle ground maybe upload like three four times a week and just you know i don't know it's up to you guys so all right guys thank you so much for watching today's video again if you're interested in signing up check out the links in the description get the merch um everything's on sale in the merch store right now so get it get it while the sales are on but you guys are awesome you guys are amazing keep going out and making a bunch of money and stay safe out there guys um Watch all my other videos on how to earn extra money while you're driving. You know, there's like 20, 25 different ways to make extra money while you're driving. Anyways, guys, you guys are the best. I will talk to you all soon. Have a great rest of your day. And, um, yeah, if you see me out on the streets, say what's up. I've, I know a couple of you guys have run into me before. And, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, all right, I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.